Michael Sherwin I'm here at CES with the IEEE booth and we are demoing uh, the, the tools that uh, the IEEE Personal Health Devices Group has created. Uh, so they've created several standards to date. Uh, right now we have 13 device specializations and they represent what is uh, some of these devices such as a pulse oximeter, a blood pressure cuff, a glucometer, uh, a sensor for a bed or chair and then this is uh, independent living. Uh, but they all connect to a gateway and the gateway is a, considered a manager inside the 11073-20601 uh, protocol and then we have the other protocols here uh, that we talked about just as you can see the numbers and everything. And uh, anyway, we have uh, had great success over the last few years and we continue to uh, build on more device specialization. So four more probably this year, uh, maybe even more. But right now we're working on sleep apnea, um, continuous glucose monitor, insulin pump, uh, and then also one other one called urine analyzer. Uh, but uh, others may come in and then we continue to improve the existing standards that we currently have. So uh, we know that there have been many devices that have been implemented. Uh, the IEEE standards. Uh, some of those are actually tracked through uh, other alliances, but uh, Continuum Health Alliance is one example. They have roughly 80 certifications to date, which utilize some of these devices. And uh, some, many are now in mobile phones. So the IEEE standards are now within this phone that comes, came out of Japan. I also use one now. And I'll just give you a quick example. This phone. This is a uh, one that uses the 11073, and this is over Bluetooth. So it'll use a known in device, which I don't have up here, mm -hmm. and it'll pair to it, and then it'll start sending data over to it. And then uh, you can send that data, you can actually upload it to the WAN, so to the, the cloud. So you have that capability to send it anywhere you want. And that's where it's going today. So end to end, complete end to end, all enabled through the PhD 11073 standards.